Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economic series, we will solve a problem that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel regarding the optimization. The question is like this. We have to maximize a utility function. We are being given a utility function as u is equal to x, y plus x, where u is the utility, x and y are the two goods, okay, that the consumer is consuming. And there is a constant that is 6x plus 2y is equal to 110. This 110 denotes the total income of the consumer. This 6 denotes the price of good x and this 2 denotes the price of uh, good y, okay? And we need to see the what is the maximum utility that the consumer will get when he optimizes his choices, okay? So for that, we have to use the language method, okay? So how do we uh, solve a language uh, question? It is very simple. What we uh, just need to do, we write this utility function again. We have u is equal to x, y plus x. That means this is our direct utility function. That uh, That is, uh, this is a function of two gurus that the consumer is consuming, okay? This is our utility function. We will call it the objective function, okay? Let us say it is objective function. Objective function, okay? And we are being given the constraint. What is our constraint? Constraint is 6x. 6x plus 2y is equal to 110, okay? First step uh, in solving this very question using language multiplier will be we set our constraint equal to 0, okay? What is our constraint? This We will set it equal to 0 first. That means which will give us uh, 110 minus 6x minus 2y is equal to 0, okay? I hope I am making myself clear. What I did, I just set this constraint equal to 0 and when solving uh, it began if we transpose all these terms, this will become negative and we set it equal to zero, okay? Next step is to multiply this uh, the resulting constraint with lambda, okay? So next step I will not write because of the lack of the space uh, that I will face. So I will just uh, explain theoretically that we need to multiply it by lambda, okay? So I will not write here. So just multiplying this resulting constraint by lambda, so we have 6x minus 2y, okay? is equal to zero. Now after that, we need to set a language's function. How is the language's function set? Simply, we take our objective function and to this we add up this resulting constraint, okay? So uh, forming the language's uh, function is simple. We write L is the notation for the language's function. I wrote it here. So language's function is formed by adding up our objective function and the resulting constraint, okay? So our uh, language's function will be like this x y plus x to this we add uh, this uh, resulting uh, you know this is called uh, the constraint function that is 1 over 10 minus 6 x minus 2 y okay this is our languages function now what we need to do the first order condition for optimization or maximization requires that we take the partial derivatives of this Lagrange's function with respect to x, y, and lambda and uh, set them equal to zero simultaneously and uh, solve for the optimal values, okay? So first order condition will require, so first order condition requires that we take the partial derivatives of this Lagrange's function with respect to x, y, and lambda and set them equal to zero, okay? So I will not write here. So what will we do? We will set Lx. That L subscript x means partially differentiating this Lagrange's function with respect to x, okay? If we partially differentiate, the derivative of x will be 1, so we are left with y, okay? Plus the derivative of x is 1, so we are again left with uh, 1, okay? Here you can uh, easily visualize that only in the middle term we have the x, that means the first and last term, the derivative will be 0 because we are partially taking derivative with respect to x okay so the derivative of x will be here one so we are left with minus six into lambda so we have minus six lambda okay and we set it equal to zero simple or if we rearrange this we can write y plus one is equal to six lambda let this be equation first okay again using the same steps but this time uh, differentiating partially with respect to y, okay? L subscript to y means partially differentiating our language's function with respect to y, okay? So, the derivative of y in the first term will be 1, so we will be left with x, 
since no y is involved in second term, it will be assumed as constant, its derivative will be 0, okay? Now coming to these terms, uh, in the first term we have no y, okay? Their derivative will be obviously 0. The derivative of y in the last term will be 1, so we are left with minus 2 into lambda is minus 2 lambda. So I will write here minus 2 lambda and we set it equal to 0, okay? After that, just rearranging this, we have x is equal to 2 lambda. Let this be equation second. Again, uh, partially differentiating with respect to lambda. Okay, L subscript lambda means partially differentiating our Lagrange's function with respect to lambda. Okay, simple, no lambda is involved in the first two terms, the derivative will be 0. Okay, here the derivative of lambda is 1. So, what we are being uh, left out with, so we have 110 minus 6x minus 2y and we set it equal to 0. Let this be equation third, okay? I hope I am making myself clear. Now, what we need, we just need to solve for the optimal values. How can we solve? Let's divide equation first by equation two. Let us say equation first upon equation two. What will it uh, give us? Implies we have y plus one, y plus one upon in the second equation we have x is equal to 6 lambda upon 2 lambda, okay? This lambda and lambda will get cancelled. We are left with 2 ones are, 2 threes are, 6. That means we got 3 on the RHS, okay? Just uh, multiplying, uh, cross multiplying. So this is y plus 1. y plus 1 is equal to 3x, okay? Or which implies y is equal to 3x minus 1, okay? I hope I am making myself clear. Now, we just need to plug the value of y is equal to 3x minus 1 in equation third. Okay? Now, I will write here, put uh, y is equal to this in third equation. Okay? Now, third equation, uh, in third equation, uh, let me write it here. So, the third equation is 110. So, I will write here 110 minus uh, 6 is x is uh, minus 6x uh, minus 2 the value of y is uh, this 3x minus 1 so I will write here 3x minus 1 and we set it equal to 0 as it is in the third equation okay now we uh, this gives us 110 minus 6x minus 2 3 are 6 x minus minus is plus so we get 2 is equal to 0 <coughs> sorry so minus 6x six, minus 6 they are the like terms we can separate them easily or add them here so we have 110 plus uh, 2 is equal to 112 uh, is equal to 12x so okay i have just skipped a simple basic step here minus 6x six, minus 6x six, is minus 12x transposing to upward here what we call this to the rhs okay so this will become positive which implies uh what does uh, this imply? It implies simply x is equal to 112 upon 12. Okay, just transpose 12 to LHS, it will get divided. Okay, so using uh, the division, we can see since the last two digits are divisible by 4 here, and this is also divisible by 4, so we can easily use the divisible detestors for dividing it by 4, uh, both numerator and denominator. That means 4, 3, 4, sorry, 4, 2, 0, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, get 2, get 3, 4, 2, 0, now, that, get 3, when I get 32, this is 32, so, sorry, this is uh, 32, uh, 4, A is 32, so we are left with 28 upon 4, 3, 0, 12, so that means optimal value of X is equal to 28 upon 3, okay, now what we need to do, we just need to plug this value of x is equal to 28 upon 3 back in the equation third, okay? So put this value, okay, I will in third, okay? So we have 110 here, minus 6, the value of x is 28 upon 3. So we have 28 upon 3 minus 2y is equal to 0. So we have here 3 ones are 3 twos are 6. We have 110 minus 2 8s are 16. 
2 to the 4 tage 5 okay this is 56 mm, so transposing this here this will become 2 by positive y okay i am just skipping these simple steps here the hanishat tour okay and then we have mm, done it past the bar so this is 54 is equal to 2y which implies y is equal to 54 upon 2 okay that means we got this 2 to the 4 you by now 2 7 are 14 and hope i make myself clear that means the optimal value of y is equal to 27 okay so we got the optimal combination of x and y now there are two things either we uh, calculate the value of lambda or not we can or uh, we can solve this for maximization in either way if we try to find the value of lambda well and good if not then it's not also necessary because what we need to, to find the maximum utility we just need to plug the value of x and y uh, in our objective function okay so should i calculate the value of lambda let's uh, calculate the value of lambda also okay for that i will write put x is equal to 28 uh, no, let me write, see here. So, where can we calculate the value of lambda? We can calculate uh, the value of lambda either in equation second or equation first. Okay. So, let's use equation second. Okay. Now, put the value of x is equal to 3. So, I will write put x is equal to 28 upon 3 in equation two to get the value of lambda okay so we have 28 upon 3 is equal to 2 lambda which implies lambda is equal to 28 upon this will get divided to 3 so this is 2 into 3 so 2 ones are 2 14 are so we are left with 14 upon 3 okay the value of lambda is 14 upon 3 okay now what does this lambda tell us it simply tells us what happens if the constant of the constant changes by you one unit how much will our uh, utility change okay so let's see uh, let's try to interpret this first so let me see if i can write it in the decimals so we have three fours are 12 uh, 13 14 so draw your point of okay actually is three six are 18 I'm not sure whether I have done the value of lambda correctly or not. Okay. So what does this lambda tell us? Lambda is equal to 4.6. This is also called, uh, at times it's called marginal utility of money or we call it the shadow price. Okay. This lambda tells us simply what happens. So uh, let me interpret. It says if constant of constant, always lazy in the you know and vocabulary so we have if constant or constraint changes by let us say here we say increases by one unit okay by one unit and by one unit uh, simply what is the constant of constant this is income it simply says if income increases by one unit that means so let us say by one dollar okay then uh, our utility you utility will increase by 4.6 units okay or utils here this is the interpretation of utils okay so uh, apologize me for this bad handwriting okay so this constant simply says what happens to our co what has uh, what happens to our objective function when the constant of the constant changes okay and this is uh, calculated by uh, the effect is calculated by this very lambda okay now coming to the question where we need to find the maximum maximum utility that the consumer will get so for that uh, we can just plug the value of uh, x y and lambda either in the language function or in 
utility function but we don't need i have seen many people doing that they just uh, take the value of x y and lambda and set them and put them in the language function there is no need to put the value of these in or uh, language function okay because we know this term will vanish here this will become zero so zero times lambda is zero so we are left with this very thing which is actually this very thing this original objective function so the better idea will be just plug the optimal values back into the objective function what we call the utility function so uh, put x is equal to 28 upon 3 y is equal to what we calculated here 27 and objective function okay objective function we mean our utility function which is the direct utility that means so utility that the consumer will obtain by consuming the optimal commodities is equal to so we have here x the value of x is 28 upon 3 into y y is 27 plus the value of x is Uh, x y plus x okay so what is the value of x yes uh, x the value of x is 28 upon 3 okay so 3 ones are 3 nines are 27 let us hope that i get the calculation right here 9 are 72 uh, 9 twos are 18 are the so that is 252 Plus what is 3, uh, 28 upon 3? So, ashi ato divided by 3, so this is 3, 6 are 3, 8 are 24, 3, 9 are 27, 8 and 8 after 8, you go point, you go 0, so 3, 1 are 3, I hope I made the character. So, we have 9.1, okay? So, this will come out to be, this is, 0.1 so now to the day ka pasta gay share 261.1 okay i'm not sure whether i have done the calculation right 252 plus 9 will come out to be 261 i hope i make myself clear in this video please share and subscribe this channel with your economic uh, econ friends that is the only motivation for me to to keep going on okay it is a free initiative to import uh, the uh, what you call the mathematical economics in simple language okay thank you have a nice day